Sayulita is one of my favorite places in the whole world. After going through a breakup, I bought a one-way ticket to Sayulita and ended up staying for two months. Today, I'll take you to all my favorite things here, from yoga to the gym, a beach massage, and salsa night. Sayulita, Mexico. So today I'm going to try and take you to all of my favorite things, starting with 8 a.m. rooftop yoga here at my hostel. So yeah, there's free yoga here at the hostel every morning at 8 a.m. And after yoga, it's perfect because now there's free breakfast downstairs. So I have what? Eggs and refried beans and fruit and juice. And it's all unlimited. Okay, super late. I got to chill a little after breakfast. And now I am running to the gym, which there are like three gyms here. But this is my favorite gym, Quilombo. So I've been coming here for jiu-jitsu and Muay Thai classes, but they also have boxing and functional training. And it's literally my favorite place in Sayulita. And it's so cool because like most of the people that come here live here. So there's like tons of locals and you get to meet a bunch of people and it's a really good workout. It's really good though. Um, I think I'm gonna get some chicken on the way home. So there's a really good place where you can get cheap chicken and rice. This is one of the gyms here, Sayulita Fit, which I've heard is really nice, but it's also really expensive. It's like $10, I think, for a day pass, which is crazy. Um, so there's also another little gym, which is really rusty and I enjoy it. Everyone's really nice. It doesn't have a lot of machines though. That one's 30 pesos a day, which, so much cheaper than ten dollars and if you're good with like free weights it's totally worth it but quilombo is the best especially if you do the whole month Hola, pollo. Hola, si, uh, medio pollo. Okay, con arroz si, tortillas with 85 for half a chicken now i have half a chicken rice tortillas i can't even finish it all because it's so much food um and it's right on the way home from the gym so it's super convenient like a little bit before the bridge Another amazing taco place that I love is Luna's with two for one margaritas all day until 7 p.m. And right around the corner is a place you can buy like produce and stuff. Like there's no grocery stores here, but there's tons of little like markets and places like this where you can buy fruits and veggies. It's super tiny. There's like one OXO, that one bank. Like I said, no grocery stores, just little like markets and that. But there's tons of restaurants, tons of bars, and it's super fun. There's so much to do all the time. So it's really, really small. You get to know everything in like two days. There's a ton of ATMs all around Sayulita because a lot of places are only cash, but half the time they're out of money. So if it's working, get cash. No one's stolen my card yet, so I guess they're safe. Sayulita Pueblo Magico. And the big Sayulita sign. And there's always like markets and stuff going on here in the middle park. Like right now, there's people selling a ton of stuff. And it's all like cute, like touristy things, but yeah. It's really nice in the park with the sign. And I'm almost back to my hostel. So right now I'm staying here at Casa Pepe Hostel, which I'm paying about like 200 to 250 pesos a night. Um, but the hostel's new, so I guess it might be more expensive than that soon. But yeah, here's really nice. And my friend had an apartment right here. 
um, which she got during off season and she was paying 600 US dollars a month. So it's really not bad if you come during off season, but in busy season, it's like a lot more expensive. How good is this? Too many plastic bags, but tortillas, rice, and my half a chicken. Okay, at this time to go to the beach, which if you're in Sayulita is like the main thing you're gonna do, beach and tons of people go surfing here. It's like a huge surfing town. So there's places all over you can rent surfboards for like a hundred pesos an hour. And that's what I've rented for, a hundred an hour. Um, so there should be tons of people out surfing still. And we'll see how many people are at the beach. where I've rented surfers before, Luna Azul. So it's 100 pesos for an hour and they have lockers inside. So you can lock all your stuff inside. They'll get you a board and then the beach is right here. The beach is like surprisingly empty today. Usually here at the south side, it's really busy, but there are still like a lot of people surfing. I'm going to walk up to the north side of the beach, like 10 minutes this way, and usually there's a lot less people. So we'll see. There's also my favorite massage over there. So I'm gonna chill on the beach for a little, read, tan, and then get a massage. Okay, I'm leaving the beach now, walking back toward the South Beach, and I'm going to my favorite massage place, Leticia Massage, which I definitely don't do every day. Um, maybe like once every week or so, but it's 500 pesos for an hour. So it's not like super Thailand cheap, but it's definitely way cheaper than massages in the States. And it's really good and right next to the ocean, which is so nice. <laughs> Hola, Pia. ¿Cómo estás? is over and I'm falling asleep <laughs> so I'm going to go back now and then tonight is salsa night at Selena there's a salsa lesson so I need to shower get some tacos go to salsa and then see the nightlife in Sayulita the other thing to do in Sayulita play volleyball taco place was not busy so I stopped here now got a couple tacos this is the best place for tacos really um, and it'll be super packed later at night so now is a good time two quesadillas and a taco and then they have this whole condiment bar so you can get all the salsas and little toppings that you want yeah these are the best vegetarian tacos I found in Sayurita with just sauteed onions, mushrooms, peppers, and then all the sauce and stuff. It's so good. So I got one veggie taco and two quesadilla sencilla, which is just like a cheese quesadilla for 85 pesos total. And that's also where I met my best friend here. I've met a lot of people there actually. Um, if you just go there by yourself when it's busy, you'll end up like sitting with random people. And yeah, I met my best friend there. And that's how I started going to Quilombo because she got me to join my Muay Thai with her. Okay, it is like 10 o'clock on a Wednesday which is Salsa Night at Selena. So I'm gonna go check out Salsa because usually there's a bunch of people that are really good. Um, so that's fun. And then there's a bunch of other bars around here that I'm gonna swing by and see what's happening. Which the one good thing about Sayulita is it's super safe. 
vibes. Like, I walk around alone at night all the time, and, like, it's fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> as it is on like a weekend um but salsa was really fun there's probably like a beach party or something but i don't feel like going to the beach so yeah there's always something going on here another bar <laughs> yeah there's always something and super fun and super easy to meet people and yeah sunny lake is amazing hopefully if you haven't been you can come visit <laughs> I'm just gonna walk around a little now. You can see like all the people out, how busy it is and safe, and fire show. <laughs> <laughs> 